Hello again. I thought I'd talk a little bit more about my experiments with Joe Newman's ideas. I could tell by a lot of the people that have been sending me comments, you're a, lot, a lot of you are beginners like I was when I first started experimenting. And even though most of the most of the stuff you end up learning is can already be found in electronics books, uh, some of us like to learn by the hands-on method, and I guess uh, that's what we're all doing. So. Anyway, I'm just going to talk a little bit about the back spike on Joe's motor, or, or not just on Joe's motor, but on any coil, because I, a lot of you guys don't understand how the back spike works. And I drew a little picture here, and I, I'm going to hold this up, and I hope this works. This is a, this is your battery right here. I hope, I hope my microphone is picking this up. All I wanted to say is what a lot of people don't realize is the if you put power into this coil here from this battery when you close the switch, the minute you open the switch, you'll have a reverse polarity coming back out of your coil. So if I put a positive in this way, going into the coil, the minute I disconnect it, negative comes back out. It immediately discharges from the coil. It's, the coil is almost like a capacitor. It discharges, it goes back into the battery, and then believe it or not, it sort of oscillates for a second. Now a lot of people think they're getting free energy when they look at the back spike and it produces a, an incredible spark, but it's not really more power because it takes more time to build up the back spike. And like I said, the back spike is reverse polarity. So it may take you this long to charge up your coil and you get this quick back spike, which doesn't really benefit you because it's in reverse polarity. Then you build up your, your uh, coil again, the magnetic field in your coil, and you get the back spike again. Anyway, I hope I'm not confusing you. I just want to talk about that because uh, that was one of the little things I discovered on all my experiments. Uh, the other thing I wanted to say, somebody wrote me and told me their motor ran for, I believe it was 60 days, and I, I guess the gentleman was under the impression that he was either getting free energy or he built a highly efficient motor. Let me say this. Um, Consider a pendulum in a, in a clock that has the quartz movement. You can put a AA battery in one of those clocks, and what does that pendulum swing for a year or something like that? That's not necessarily free energy, it's just an efficient design. So if you've got a motor that will run for 60 days with no load on it, that doesn't really mean a whole lot of itself. It may look impressive, but it, but it isn't necessarily. Um, i trying to think what else I was going to say here. Gosh, I hate it. You know, you, you you think of a few things you want to say, and then you get in front of the camera, and all of a sudden your mind goes blank. I don't want to redo this, though, so I'm hoping it'll come back to me. Let me see. I talked about the, the polarity being reverse of what comes out of the coil. Oh, I know what it was. Um, when I built a special commutator that Joe recommended in one of his early books that was supposed to short out... Um, it had little short out segments in it as the commutator rotated. When I tried to feed some of the energy from the short out segment back into the coil, it actually slowed that motor down. So, I, I, oh, I was going to say, I also remember at one point Joe was saying you didn't need to build that commutator anymore, so he seemed to have changed his mind about that whole thing. Anyway, um, some of you are still. Uh, debating with me a little bit and I know you're, you're believers and, and Joe and and uh, like I said in my early video go ahead and build the thing if you think it works I'm just giving you some things to think about things you can see for yourself so um, let me see what else can I say it'll probably hit me later but I think that's good enough for now thanks for listening